feel like I used to watch all of these creators who are full-time artists or creatives and it'd be like, I'm so busy. I'm answering so many emails. And I'll be like, that doesn't seem that hard. And it's not. And I love my job, which is actually kind of toxic sometimes because all I want to do is work. I thought I would go Monday to Monday and we could talk about what I do in a week. It is the first day after daylight savings time, so I have no idea what time it is. My watch and my phone say different things. I'm just running on vibes. But I do have a to-do list. I need to paint the text for this poster. They decided that they wanted to change the event name, so I have to repaint something. I need to order prints and stickers. I'm gonna have a shop update in mid-April sometime. I have an art market scheduled, and then we'll have the shop update after that. So I need to reorder all of my prints and all my stickers. Ordering stickers. Oh God. This is my print order. I'm about to hit submit. I just got a text message from my bank that was like, did you authorize? All these payments? Yes, I did authorize it. Scary. I need to design and order my Patreon mail for March. I did some sketches over the weekend that I will probably use. I need to finish these designs for this sticker collab. I need to finish this painting that's behind me and ideally start a new one. And I need to call my doctor. That's not work related. Yeah. Oh, my friend Sophie is calling me. Hola. Hola. Bien. Y tú? Bien. Y poco cansado. Oh, cansado. Por qué? Uh, por qué yo trabajo mucho hoy. Oh, uh, me también. You speak Spanish pretty well. Oh, no. Just no. <laughs> I know words. Like when I hear people speaking Spanish, I'm like, I understand some of that. <laughs> I painted this one and then I kind of touched it up digitally and then this is what the postcard is gonna look like this one I kind of just like the horse and the flowers so I edited it changed it to white so that it goes with the poster postcard and it looks like this it's like 1 30 and I'm starving so I'm gonna go drop off a package and get some lunch and then go for a walk Suddenly it's 5.30. I'm gonna go home, get something to eat, and then I have figure drawing at six. And I haven't been in like two weeks, so. This is not a good angle. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna have four paintings. And she was like, oh, no worries. I'm glad you're like coming at all. And so I was like, okay, thank you. Stressing out about it in my head. I just need to tell you where I'm at so I don't freak out. Five what? Left-handed? Oh yeah. My wheel was set on left-handed also. Uh, I can't even like brush my teeth left-handed, so.
art supply haul white acrylic paint. I got some underglazes, which are what I've been painting on my ceramics with. I'm almost out of my radiant red. The first ones that I bought, I bought this chartreuse color and then I bought bright red. And then I bought this like dark turquoisey blue. And I thought maybe this would be a good set of like primary adjacent colors, but I feel like these three colors don't look that good together. So I got this baby blue, which I feel like looks better with both of these. And then I also got this coral pink that is gonna look more pink when it's glazed. So now I have five underglazes. Maybe next I'll get a yellow. I'm kind of picky about my yellows. I don't really like a lemon yellow. Um, so those postcards right there, um, right towards the front, yeah. Yeah, how's yours? Pretty busy. I thought maybe you guys were busy because this took no time at all. Yeah, we're slamming stuff out just as absolutely as fast as we can. <laughs> <laughs> it's because we're trying to keep up. this jumpsuit. I love it. It's from Dickies. Hey Dickies. center because I need to get labs drawn. Been getting labs drawn once a week for the last couple weeks because things are going on inside my body that I am not in control of and I take no accountability for. We're just trying to figure out what's going on in there. And I also have a stitch in my armpit and I'm gonna say can you please pretty please take this stitch out of my armpit. Something else I want to be really vulnerable with you guys about. Right here in my cup holder I have these which are my emergency pistachios and slowly I have been accumulating this little pile here. I just ate a couple you know at a red light but I'm gonna finally take these put them in here and then go throw them away. That's what I'm up to. back in the car I got myself a little treat because they took my stitch out and I was literally so brave I didn't even cry or anything so I deserve this it's a Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell Originally this clip had me talking in the background, but my microphone was off. I was trying to show that when I send illustrations to clients, I like to put them in this little PowerPoint presentation and send it as a PDF so they can open it and share it within the organization easier. I also try to kind of guide the feedback by giving them a couple of different options. I try to give two options for each design and oftentimes I find that if you just send an illustration to someone, they might just pick it apart, especially if it's being seen by multiple people in the organization, you could end up with just a completely different direction and something I learned from being a preschool teacher is that you have to give people options so if you say this or that and these are the words that I would use to describe each of these things it really helps and also just kind of makes you look more professional. I really can't get into the creative flow with painting if I have things looming on my to-do list. So I feel like the first half of the week is a lot of administrative tasks and doing stuff for other people. And then the rest of the time is for me. I'm excited for tomorrow because I have the entire day blocked off for personal work, which happens less often than you might think. I'm going to go home, 
go for a walk and lay down. <laughs> I'm tired. So a couple things, I got a new rug. It's actually just the rug from my apartment, but my friend was getting rid of her rug. I thought it would look nice in our living room. And I thought this would look nice in the studio. And I was right. I was having a hard time searching for a studio rug that I felt like wasn't super colorful. I didn't want to get a Facebook marketplace rug because I just hate doing Facebook marketplace. Yeah, so it worked out. This is my new rug in my living room looks like. And I feel like it's so much more colorful and homey. And this one is just like a lot more neutral. And I can already tell that it's dampening the sound from the shop downstairs quite a bit. I also got these boxes, which are tube mailers. So I sell poster size prints and in order to send them through the mail, you have to put them in a cardboard tube. They don't fit in like a flat mailer. And I double messed up because I ordered 16 inch tubes, but my prints are 16 inches with a half inch border. And I guess I just wasn't thinking. When I first started selling these prints, I ordered 24 inch mailers. It sucks because there's like a $5 fee if anything that you send through the USPS is over 22 inches. Anyway, these are the wrong size. They're too small. I should have known that. This is like a lesson I keep learning over and over and over again, is that I do not know the size of things and I should double and triple check and actually measure instead of just guessing. They're also from Uline, which when I was just doing my return, cause I'm gonna have to return these, like is Uline a good company? Turns out they are not a good company at all. And I should not be ordering things from them. I'm gonna try to find a place that isn't so openly anti all of the values that I have. I'm gonna return these, but I just thought I would tell you that's the saga and I didn't film any of it because I just didn't, I'm sorry. Okay, back to work. stare off into the distance because apparently that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment at two to get this infusion of this drug called IV immunoglobulin. It's just like this long infusion that I have to get every couple months. They give me Benadryl when I get the infusion because there's a chance that I could have an allergic reaction and I have had it before. So I'm just like mega sleepy during and afterwards. But tonight, one of my good friends is showing his paintings in the gallery that's just below my studio. And we're gonna have open studios where everyone opens up their studio and invites people upstairs. So I really I really want to go to that, but my infusion's not going to end until like probably six. And I'm not sure what I should do this morning until two. I probably should go deal with the box situation, like do the return of those boxes that are the wrong size. Yeah, I think I'm going to go do that. And then I might try to go to ceramics and put some handles on the mugs that I threw the other day. It's a sweetheart. It's so warm right now. We love our new rug. Okay, I'm gonna go for a walk and then probably drive to the studio, sort out the box thing, and then we'll see where we're at. It's so windy.
Predictably, I was way too tired to go to open studios, so I just went home and went to bed at like 7.30, which was honestly kind of awesome. I did end up going into the studio on Saturday, which I normally don't do, but I felt like I missed a day of work this week and I had a lot of stuff to get ready for. I thought I might finish that other flower painting before I started a new one, but I really enjoyed working on these two simultaneously, so I'm glad I started this one. These larger paintings are going to be in a group show until June 21st in Kalispell, Montana, which is in Northwest. West Montana if you have a trip planned to Glacier National Park or you live in Northwest Montana you should go check it out. It's at Good Luck Gallery in Kalispell. My paintings are all about sorting out complexity in these little landscapes that are facing towards the ground. I'll show the finished paintings at the end of the video. This painting went by really fast. I feel like the process of doing that bright underpainting and then going in with the shadow shapes really helped me get values established really quickly. And it's just so fun to try to cover up that bright underpainting. I got a couple of really fun packages this week. My washi tape that I ordered back in January finally arrived. This is like my first manufactured product I've ever made outside of stickers and prints. So I was kind of scared to order something from China and get these mock-ups and be like, I hope it looks good, but they look really nice. I ordered from a company called Vogue Grace. I would definitely work with them again. They were super helpful and kind. I'm so excited to make more stationery. I love stationery. So I want to branch out into more stationery stuff. And then I was influenced, okay? Kathleen Illustrated showed these pasta markers in her favorites video. They're called markers, but they're not like any marker I have ever experienced in my life. It's kind of like a crayon, but like less waxy. It's more soft. If you like the texture of charcoal or colored pencil, but you kind of hate the sensory experience of the material scraping these are really nice they're super soft i took them to figure drawing and made a couple little pieces i think i'll definitely use them in my sketchbook and elsewhere and then megan wang okay you probably know if you watch art youtube videos right now but megan wang influenced all of us to buy these lamy safari pens i have never really used fountain pens before and let me tell you i get it I understand why people are obsessed and pay thousands of dollars for nice fountain pens. I started out with this Pilot Kakuna pen and I honestly maybe like it more than the Safari. The Safari is really beautiful. I got this cream colored one, got the largest size nib and you can tell the Kakuna nib is a lot smaller. I've been using them a lot in my sketchbook and my journal. They really inspired me. New art supplies always just inspire me to get working again. You definitely don't need fancy art supplies, but sometimes it feels nice to treat yourself to a a new toy you know taylor got this little soundboard so that's his new toy and nora we buy her toys constantly we had a friend in town and so we went to a basketball game <laughs> kind of random go jazz i guess And on Sunday, my friend Anna and I went on a bike ride, a very windy bike ride near the Great Salt Lake. We saw a bunch of birds. We saw a great blue heron, a bunch of dead birds. And yeah, it was a beautiful day spent outside. It's windy. Sorry, I'm so far away. I'm terrible at introducing myself at the beginning of the video. My name is Kristen Vardenega. My friends call me Chris. I go by Little Tiny Egg everywhere on the internet. I am an artist and illustrator. I live in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm an Aries. I'm 5'6 on a good day. I finished those two paintings. First one looks like this. It's called Paintbrush Party. And then the other one looks like this. It is called The Immortals. I just delivered those paintings to the gallery. So I'm ready to start kind of like refreshing and starting some new projects for spring. So I'm excited to see what happens in the next couple of months. I feel like I kind of wrapped up a cycle of work with those paintings and that illustration project. I designed six stickers for an organization called Sageland Club. This is what the stickers look like. I'm really proud of how they all look. They are in this hexagon format because you can tile them on a water bottle. The mugs that I glazed in this video are finished and they look so good. I'm so happy with them. They look like this. I am going to be doing an art market April 14th. It's going to be at Public Coffee in 
Salt Lake City. If you're local, it would be awesome to see you there. I love meeting people who watch my videos. It's so surreal. And then I think probably that next weekend, I will do a shop update with that washi tape and all my stickers and prints and stuff. Subscribe so that you can see what happens. Sorry, my camera died. I also wanted to plug that I have a Patreon. I send out a sticker and a postcard every single month. You can sign up to be just on the postcard tier or you can get a sticker and a print. I also post a podcast every single month talking about stuff that's inspiring me, some things I've been up to, projects I've been working on, and I share some secret sketches and some fun stuff over there if you are interested. If you like this video, you could like it and leave a comment. If you leave a comment, it's super helpful because it lets me know what is going on on the other side of this whole equation. I love to hear about your reactions, things that you liked, things that you didn't like. That was a week in my life. Was it a typical week in my life? Not really. I don't know if a typical week actually exists in my life or in this profession at all. I'm also, you know, chronically ill, so I'm really grateful for my job that allows me to take time off to do things like get labs and infusions and stuff without having to take sick time or ask for PTO or whatever. Every time I walk into my studio, I feel I'm being enveloped by a warm hug, and I hope that's the vibe that you get from these videos. Long story short, I hope your week's going well. I hope you're surviving. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now and let you go. Have a good day. Bye.